All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and honor and glory be to Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachakodash. And I want to say double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and blessings to the hopeful elect out there listening and learning and teaching this word in sincerity and truth in the hopes that we may edify and feed the lambs of Yahweh Shai, especially in these last days, which is a very important task and responsibility that we've been given. By Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, the scriptures, um, you know, call us watchmen, you know, so we got to do exactly that. You know, like Yahweh Shai warned, he said, Watch as well as pray that you enter not into temptation, in which we're fast approaching the time of the hour of temptation. And you can see that, you know, you can see that coming into play, you know, with various different, you know, um, bits of information that you could pick up websites platforms going into how more and more people are becoming more acceptant of the MOTB uh, which you should be familiar with that you know the, the mark you know which is the uh, the chip okay and um, they're going to use that you know as a form of a, uh, some sort of solution in response to all the chaos right that Esau or should I say the elites of Esau are going to allow to keep on mounting up. Uh, you see these people are out here, you know, running rampant um, over here in the UK. And this is just the beginning, you know, storming hotels, masked up, balaclavered up. And it's funny, it's like people have become accustomed to wearing masks just after the pandemic. Um, you know, people uh, are feeling the pinch, you know, the cost of living crisis. The pandemic hit a lot of people, or a lot of people's pockets economically. Um, you know, the people are already on the edge, but now this is making it even worse because Esau is flat fanning the flames. All right, which ultimately the Lord is using Esau to fan the flames of hatred and division. All right, and no kingdom that's divided. See, the Lord is putting the spirit of division in this man's kingdom, and that's a beautiful thing to see. And no kingdom divided shall be able to stand. All right, so I was just thinking about a couple of articles that I'm going to go into here. And this is the first one that I want to read. Um, and this is from the independent.co.uk. And it says, UK riots live. Starmer chairs emergency COBRA meeting amid fears of violence at immigration centres. All right. Now, a COBRA is actually a snake. Okay. And the scriptures speak about the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan. So what you got to understand is, is, you know, when the scriptures speak about the dragon and the serpent, you know, it's basically parabolic, right? For you, for us to be able to identify Esau and how he, you know, is going to demonstrate his draconian measures in these last days, man, because he's known as the dragon. All right. Remember, the scriptures speak about the two horns as a lamb that spake as a dragon. And we're in that time now where, you know, pretty much what well, the nature of a dragon is to be fierce. OK, fire breathing dragon, keen, fierce. And that's exactly, you know, how Esau is going to come down with that great wrath. OK, so this they're having this Cobra meeting. OK, uh, amid fears of violence at immigration centers of so people, they're saying that people are using these social media sites like TikTok, Telegram. Um, what's the other one? X. X is another one. All right, which was recently bought by Elon Musk and he's been fanning the flames on X as well. Remember, the scriptures speak about sedition among men, which is inflammatory speech. All right, and meanwhile, you got the, you know, Tommy's boys, the EDO and that, all right, who is um, basically rubs shoulders with the small hats, who's also set up, you know, to pretty much fan the flames of division because they want that new world order. They want the chaos in order to come forward with the solution, which is that chip. So I'm gonna head. I'm gonna go ahead and read this scripture first, Revelation chapter twelve, verse twelve, and it says, "Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time, and he knows he has a short time, because the prophets are out there prophesying against his kingdom, and the prophets have always been doing that, prophesying against kingdoms of war." evil and pestilence and it ain't no different in this time so this man's kingdom is on its way out so Esau is trying to establish his new world order agenda okay and this is why they're coming forward 
coming forth with more draconian measures, setting up standing armies and so on and so forth, all right, to res in response to the violence at these immigration centres that be popping up. Because people are out here going buck wild crazy in the UK, storming hotels, torching uh, police stations, torching libraries, torching uh, uh, vehicles, all right? Shit is getting real crazy out here. All right, you got these... um. These Muslims taken to the streets, they're banding together. Well, that's the scripture. What's the uh, second Ezra uh, 16? Sorry, second Ezra 15 and 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hand. Now, there was a, um, a recent uh, clip right, of one of these guys, you know. Uh, I don't know if it was the ED, one of the EDL guys was chasing down a Muslim, or it could have been a Muslim chasing down an EDL guy. One of them, one of the one of the oppositions of both different groups, but they had a, a, a weapon in their hand. It looked like it was a, some saying a chainsaw, some saying it was like a, a hedge cutter, but nonetheless, it's a killing instrument. It can be used to kill. All right, and this is the reason why I'm going into that example because the scripture says. For the sword and the destruction joy of nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. And we're actually seeing people, you know, taking it upon themselves now to grab, to, to pick up killing instruments, to take to the streets, to go out there and actually harm, physically shed, you know, people's blood. You know? So this is biblical prophecy playing out at its finest. And everyone that, you know, scoffed and scor scorned and was unfaithful, right? Um, when it came to the understanding of this word, now you're going to have to eat your words. Everything that you stand by, let's see if you keep the same energy when all hell breaks loose. Just like what the apostles and the elders have been warning about. Okay, and it says that more than 400 have been arrested as police brace for further riots. Right? And this riot is condition that we're experiencing. You can find that in the biblical prophecy of 2nd Ezra uh, chapter 6. Or, excuse me, chapter 9 verse 3. Right? And in fact, let me go ahead and get you there. Right, so this is 2nd Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before. So we've got to be diligent in how we measure the time. You know, we have to be extremely diligent, especially in these last days, because we're in a time now where anything can happen. They can kick off your door and say that you was at the riots. They can instantly, like, they can push out deep fake, put your, or, you know, put your image out there in the riots, put your face, you know, on the news at any time. And they can say these people are the targets. These people are who the ones that we have to get. You know, oh, you couldn't see his face because he was masked up. But you can see it's his build. I mean, they got masks that they, they can put on that looks exactly like you. They can have people going out there and act, looking exactly like how you, you like dressing how you dress. You know, looking how you look with a mask or with deep fake. They can do anything now with technology. Okay. You got Photoshop. You got deep fake. You got all of these Esau's got Project Blue Beam. Man, his technology, you know, pretty much, he's using it on the left-hand side as a form of witchcraft to deceive these people out here. All right, and that's why we've got to be diligent too. It says, Then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay, so we're in that time where, you know, you know, Yahweh Shai is going to come back. You know, the highest is going to begin to visit the world which he made. So we're seeing the signs of the Lord's return. And what's the Lord, what's Yahweh Shai going to do when he comes back? He's going to come, remember, the scripture says, Wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, to the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may pour upon them mine indignation. So the Lord is coming to pour his indignation, which indignation means righteous anger, upon his enemies. All right, therefore, when there shall be, now this is the point, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. And what did it just say in this article? Police are bracing for further riots. So that's uproars of the people, man. It says, and Elon Musk fans the flames on X. Now I was thinking about this. I was thinking about him fanning the flames on X. There was a reason why they allowed him to, um, you know, pretty much, um, you know, uh, buy the platform uh, uh, Twitter. All right, why he was allowed to do that. And then he changed the name from Twitter to X. Which X, that's a, that's a Hebrew character, which that X goes back to the Hebrew uh, 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 Tha You know It's the last character Right Of the Hebrew alphabet Right The Hebrew al al alphabet 
aba gada hawaza kha tayaka la manasa ai pa taza kwa rasha fa fa that's the last character of the hebrew alphabet so you can't tell us that we're not at the end all the signs the lord is showing us signs that we're at the end all right even when you look up what's happening in the so-called middle east okay you see uh hezbollah firing rockets at israel you know uh, Iran, tensions are rising between Iran, Israel, Iran, America. There's even uh, rumors now of, you know, Russia, you know, sending planes filled with weapons or, you know, filled with, uh, 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 you know, uh, how can I say, resources, military resources, and they're on their way to Iran. Which that's the prophecy in Ezekiel uh, 30, was it 38? Be thou a guard unto them. So what we're witnessing now is Russia being a guard unto the weaker nations. Remember, man, the scripture says, let the weak say I am strong. All right, so these are the biblical prophecies that are playing out, man. All right, so this is, that's another part of being diligent, watching for prophecies, man. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this one now. So this is from the news.com.au, all right? Let me, let me pull this one up as well. It says, riot, um, let this sit, load up. Riot suspects in court. As UK government ready 6,000 police. And remember, hey, six is this man's number. He, he, he is heavy into the vibration of the number six. Remember, 666, man. Kai Sai Stigma. Okay? This man, hey, this man is heavy into the vibration of six. That's why when the pandemic hit, it was, what, six feet apart? You know, six foot. You know? It was always about keeping people six feet apart, man. Okay, it says riot suspects in the court as UK government ready 6,000 police. So they got these guys on standby. Look at the state of the UK right now. Far right mobs have attacked the police, shops, cars, homes and hotels, housing asylum seekers. This is chaos. Okay, they're attacking the police. So if, they, if the police are looking in the public eye that they're getting enrolled on, obviously there's going to be more of a, 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 how can I say it, empathetic vibration or people are going to have sympathy for, for the police a lot more to the point where they're going to be like, look, you've got to roll out the military because you, you know, you got to protect these police as well. And the police are just out there for a paycheck. You know, ultimately, the, the average policeman is out there for a paycheck. They didn't sign up for all of this shit. You know, but you see, this is what I'm saying. When, it, when shit starts getting rough, that's when they're going to have to send out that military, which is Ezekiel 21 and 9. So what you're seeing now is that, you know, the right, you know, the, the, the 6,000 police. See, it's starting with the police, but then it's going to turn into the army, man. That's when they're going to be like madmen sparing none. It says suspect, suspected far-right rioters appeared in British courts on Tuesday as the government readies 6,000 specialist police were ready to deal with England's worst disorder in over a decade. Right? Almost 400 people have been arrested and 100 charged over the week-long disturbances sparked by online misinformation. And they're saying that these, these uh, prison systems are full. Keir Starmer's talking about look, people are going to be put on remand and people are going to be sent to jail. But it's like, look how many people are taken to the streets. You can't lock up everybody. So what's the solution for that? Detention centres, concentration camps. All right. Ultimately, the chip. Oh, you, we don't know who's who. We don't know what's what. Everyone's uh, uh, faces are masked up. OK, facial recognition, digital identity. And then it's going to lead to really the mark of the beast, which is the chip, to having these people chips. And now we ain't got to worry about facial recognition no more. We ain't got to worry about who's who and what's what. Now we know that the chip's inside of all of you. And the majority of the people, right, in the name of peace, are going to march to the beaten tune of the devil. Right? In solidarity for peace and safety, basically. All right? So, they, so that they can just keep calm and carry on. All right? And it says... 400 people have been arrested and charged and 100 charged over the week-long disturbances sparked by online misinformation about the murder of three children in a mass stabbing with police bracing for f uh, further possible violence. So they're saying that further possible violence is on the horizon. And it doesn't look like things are going to get any better. All right? It looks like things are going to get worse and worse and worse. All right, So we have to really be observant you know, in these times and understand that these are not like just, you know, like, a, it's not just another day out here. You know, things are getting worse. You know? Things are getting worse. The Lord is really plaguing this man's kingdom. You know? Which ultimately Esau thinks that this is his plan, but no. 
All right, in the grand scheme of things, this is really the Most High bringing his kingdom to his knees. I mean, we know that Esau is in rulership because the scriptures tell you that Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And Esau is the wicked, Malachi 1 and 4. Okay, they are known as the borders of wickedness. All right, and how do you know that the wicked is in rulership on the earth? Let's get Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. So the righteous, when the righteous are in authority, which we're the righteous, when we're in rulership on the earth, hey, everyone's going to rejoice, you know? Because there's going to be no more war. There's going to be clean air to breathe, clean, you know, food to eat. It ain't going to be genetically modified, clean water to drink, all of that. There's going to be peace on the earth. People are going to be in a, in, a, in a joyful state of mind. But when the wicked bear a fruit, the people mourn. And just like in the time of the Greeks, when the scriptures speak about the Alexander the Greek, when, they, he, when he came into power, the scriptures said that evils were multiplied in the earth because them Greeks were Edomites. Okay, Alexander, then he left his kingdom to his four generals. Okay, it's good to speak about that in 1 Maccabees 1. Right, Lassimaeus, Ptolemy, Seleucus, and Cassander. You know? And then after that came out of, from the line of Antiochus, I mean, so like, from the line of Seleucus came the wicked root. And his name was uh, Antiochus Epiphanes, man. All right? And what was, he, what was he all about, Antiochus Epiphanes? He was all that, he was about people being one people. All right, and you're seeing that same sentiment today. And that's how you know the wicked is in rulership. Because they're going to want everyone to come together, right? To, uh, to band together to combat the forces of evil. All right, they want, they want to unify everybody for, in the name of peace and safety. But in order for that peace and safety to happen, they, it's going to come with a, a, a price. You're going to have to take that ship. This is 1 Maccabee 1 and 41. Moreover, King Antiochus or Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom. That all should be one people. You see that? So this is what they keep pushing this like, like we're all, you know, it's all equality and we're all one people and this and that and whatever. Well, no, no, no. first of all, the scriptures speak about biblical nationalities. Okay, the scriptures speak about Moabites, Ammonites, right, Edomites, uh, Israelites, Elamites, Ishmaelites, okay? Everyone goes back to a, a, a biblical nationality. But Esau just wants to mold everyone into one. All right, for his one, remember, what does it say on the back of the dollar bill, right? Um, oh, what's his, uh, out of, no, what's it, that, that motto, that Latin motto that they have, e pluribus unum. I don't even know if that's, that one's actually on the back of the dollar bill. Let me see if I can get this, e pluribus unum. Like when the president might take the stage or something, you might see on a banner, it might say e, e pluribus unum. Let me see if I can pull up a... A, a picture of this. All right. If if um. Damn, this internet's being real slow. Tell you what I'm gonna do. Let me go to Google. I'll go Google first, and then I'll pull it up here. Right, and a pluribus unum goes back to out of many one. Okay. United States. A pluribus unum, right? Is Latin for out of many, one. Okay. It is a traditional motto of the United States. Look at that. Okay. It is a traditional motto of the United States, man. All right, and Antiochus Epiphanes, he was known as a wicked root. That was an Edomite. And you got these Edomites in power still to this day. Okay. And it's a, it's a motto of the United States. Which this is, man, the, you know, the Edomites, the, the scripture says the earth has been given to the hand of the wicked. This is their kingdom. All right, and it's their, it's their actual motto in the United States. The traditional motto out of many one. It says, and it appears in the great seal of the United States, along with Anuit Coeptus. Right, he approves the undertaking. You see that? And it says what? Novus Order Seclorium, that's on the back of the dollar bill. New order of the ages. So we ain't making shit up, man. This is this is actually this is actually a thing. Okay. There you go, the seal of the United States. The great seal of the United States. And it is they blurred out the pluribus unum part. Oh, here we go, yeah. There you go. There you go, it's right there. 
A pluribus unum as it appears on a, on a dollar bill. So I was right. Look at that. A pluribus unum. Out of many one. And what do they have there? The bald eagle. Okay. And this is what I'm saying. The eagle goes back to Esau. Okay. Let's go back to... Uh, let's go to Ob Obadiah. Let's, uh, let's prove that point. Right? This is Obadiah chapter 1 verse... Verse 3. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee. Oh man, this is Satan, man. Thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? So Esau, man, he's got he's a proud man. Alright, and they they call themselves Caucasians, right? They call themselves Caucasians. So excuse me, man, there's just big ass truck just getting real close to my vehicle, so I gotta be gotta be circumspect. All right, and it says whose habitation is high, you know? Yeah, they like building all these skyscrapers, these giant tall ass caves. And that's what that's where Esau feels at home because he's an ultimate cave dweller. Who shall, he says, who saith is in, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? And that's how proud Esau is. Though thou exhort thyself as the eagle. Okay. So this is talking about Esau, man. It's talking about Esau, Edom. All right. And though thou set thy nest among the stars, yeah, all the, the you know, the, the space programs, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. And it, just to prove who he's talking about, the vision of Obadiah, verse 1, saith the Lord Yahweh Power concerning Edom. Concerning Edom. So these Edomites, man, they're currently in rulership. And what do they rever reverence? The eagle. Why do they have the eagle there? See, you can't make this up. They have a pluribus unum out of many one. These are the Edomites, hey, the same uh, uh, ilk of them Greeks all the way to Antiochus Epiphanes, right? Those Edomites, they are the wicked. Remember, Antiochus was known as a wicked root and he wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. And what do you have on the back of the dollar bill? A pluribus unum out of many one. Reverencing the eagle, right? These proud individuals exhorting ourselves as the eagle. So look, man, the scriptures, man... <laughs> This is, this is the spirit of the Lord, okay? And the scriptures ain't lying, man, right? We know what's going on, okay? And this is why, you know, you're going to have them draconian measures because Esau's about ready to get this shit popping, all right? That's why you got these, you know, 6,000 uh, specialist army reserves or police reserves, specialists, they call them specialist police, ready to retaliate, right, with these riots and that and whatever, Okay? And that's when they're gonna they're gonna start rolling out there and putting you Jakes to death. Right? Remember, Jacob's trouble is spoken about in Jeremiah 30, man. So this is 2nd Ezra 16 and 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. That's you, Jake. Right? Starting with the elect. It says they, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So they're going to be like the spirit of madness is going to be on them. They're just going to be taking people out left, right and center. And that's the reason why we're giving diligence, because we hope that the Lord, you know, shelters us in that time and protects us. You got all these carnal people out here. They're just living for the now, living for the flesh. They do as thou wilt in, you know, they're into this philosophy, that philosophy, this religion, worshiping false idols. Well, guess what? The Lord's mocking them. He's going to say, look, where are these idols? Let's see if they can save you in the time of thy trouble. That's in Jeremiah 2 and 28 on, on, on down. See if they can save you in that time. All right. And if you're if you're caught up into these dumb idols in these last days, that's where the Lord, what he wants you. He's got you right where he wants you. He don't want you to be illuminated, to be woken up. OK, he wants you to he wants you to be uh, uh, in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a deep sleep. Like the scriptures say, poured upon you the spirit of deep sleep. You know. It says, for they shall waste and take away the. Uh, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. That's when things get real bad. You got police with hazmat suits out here in certain in certain cities now, right? A woman threw uh, a bag at someone with some substance in it, and people started getting ill over here in Bath in the UK. All right, and and, and people had to get sprayed down, and they put the city on lockdown. Or not the city, but I think it was the, uh, the the town center. They put that on lockdown, but they, the police came out in hazmat suits and started spraying people down. 
before they started treating them for their illness and so on and so forth. So they're actually like putting this shit on mainstream media. They put it in the movies, predictive programming. Remember the movie Songbird? And you had the hazmat suits. They were going door to door and they were grabbing people up whose temperature exceeded a certain uh, 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 limit. Because they were ordering people to scan their foreheads every day. And if your temperature was too high, they, they hazmat suits, they will come out and they will grab you out of your homes. So we ain't, look, we ain't making this shit up, man. Okay? It says, then shall they be known. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. And they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. So we're about to be tried, man. But it's going to be known who are the Lord's chosen. Because the Lord is going to have the protection over his elect. Psalms uh, 34... Is it Psalms 34? It's been a while since I've gone to this one. Psalms 34 and 7. Yep, it says, The angel of the Lord, Yahweh, encampeth about them, round about them that fear him and delivereth them. You see that? So those that fear Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh, Shai, man, are going to be protected. All right? And the Lord's got his host of angels camped, uh, camped around them. All right. And, and sometimes hey, things be happening even on a minor scale and you feel the presence of the Lord protecting you. You just know he's watching over us, man. And let that build our faith. So we've got to walk in faith in these last days, man. We're going to need every ounce of faith. We're going to have to dig deep, you know, and pray to you how I was shy and fight, the, earnestly contend for the faith, fight the good fight of faith. Because that's the only thing that's going to keep us stable, man. The scripture says wisdom and knowledge. Right. Faith in the wisdom and knowledge. Faith in these scriptures is going to keep us st uh, stable in these last days. Shall be the stability of thy times. Back in uh, verse uh, 75, in the, uh, Second Ezra 16, it says, verse 74, excuse me. Hear, O ye my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. The hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, man. That's the time that we're in. Now's not the time to keep calm and carry on and, and, and kick back and relax. No, the scripture says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. This place ain't our rest, Arkim. It says, Be not, uh, not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your guide. So we ain't supposed to be afraid of these things. When we see these things happening, we're really supposed to be joyful. Because this has to happen before Yahweh Shai returns. Remember, the uprules of the people, the earthquakes in diverse places, all of these things are the signs... At a time before the, the highest is going to begin to visit the world which he made. Remember, these things have to come to pass. And that's why we're diligently measuring the time. These things have to happen in order for Yahweh Shai to come and visit the world which he made. Alright? So this is what, hey, this is the time that we're in. Alright? And I just wanted to do a quick lesson on that. You know, I ended up going a bit longer than I wanted it to. But, hey, but that's the spirit anyway, you know? We don't speak about what we want to speak about. We speak what, what the Holy Spirit wants us to say. As we've been taught by our... Beloved elders and apostles of GMS On down, you know And it's all through the Holy Spirit Alright, so with that man I pray you were edified Things are about to pop off Alright, things are getting worse Okay The unrest in Britain's worse since the 2011 riots Has led a number of com countries to warn its citizens About the dangers of travelling in the United Kingdom. So there people are being warned about traveling over here now. You know, because it is shit, man. It's getting remember, man, hey, it's it's getting like the purge out here. You got people chasing each other down down the street with power tools in their hands, man. You know? One people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. Alright, so this is it. Alright, and I pray this is edifying. Shalom to the elect.